If a certain silver wire has a resistance of 3 ohms at 15 degrees Celsius, what resistance will it have at 29 degrees Celsius? So the equation for uh, resistance as it changes with temperature, so resistance is equal to the original resistance, R0, times uh, the 1 plus alpha T minus T0. So what are all these? So alpha is the is called the temperature coefficient of resistance, and this is the the new the, this is basically like saying T final and T initial, or you could say the change of temperature. And now the next thing you're probably wondering, oh, do I do temperature in Kelvin or do I do it in Celsius? The answer to that is it doesn't matter because even though Kelvin and Celsius are different the change of Kelvin is always equal to the change of Celsius. So for example, if I have something at zero, let's say, let's say I have something at 273 Kelvin and it goes to 283, that's a change, the change is equal to 10. That same thing in, in units of Celsius would be zero to 10 degrees, which is a change of 10. The temperature, co the, the temperature coefficient of resistance is different for every material. So silver has a temperature coefficient of resistance and you have to look it up on a chart. It's 0, 0 0.0038. So if you plug everything in right, you should just uh, get an answer of uh, the new resistance is 3.1596. Oh, the, I forgot to point out, the original resistance was 3, so you plug in 3 here. And you're going to take three times uh, a number that's just a little bit larger than one. So it makes sense that you'd get a number just a little bit larger than three is your answer. I really do appreciate y'all for watching the video. Thanks.